All right, and on the way to the chickens, you can see it is a mess. That's their old bedding, because... Sorry, lock. Here we go. But yeah, so uh, chickens are icky. And the girls get their bedding gross or wet or whatever. Hey, babies. Hey, baby girls. Good morning. Look at them. They're getting so big. Hey, girls. So I guess first things first, we're going to take this off and make them mad. Oh, my goodness. Crazy babies. But I bought them some medicated feed. Because I don't believe... So the difference between regular feed and medicated feed is that medicated feed is supposed to be good for coccidiosis and like the old nasty one cell things that kill your chickens. And you don't really care about medicated feed if your people, your chickens, whatever, have been vaccinated against coccidia. I don't believe mine have. I got them from Tractor Supply. We lost the little leghorn, but everybody else seems to be doing okay. As you can see, they're all ready to go first thing in the morning. Flapping. That's why we've been using this, because like, see right there, there's my silver lace. Hey, girlfriend. Yep. They're all crazy when you pull that lid off first thing in the morning, man. I think it's just because, you know, they're getting antsy and I don't blame them. Our coop is on the way. To being finished I think it's Thursday or Friday will be done and it'll be in its place and the bigger girls will like these ones and that one all the bigger ones just in general will be going into the bigger place in theory we will be keeping the littler ones like my wine dots and then my blue Orpington right there she's so cute she's so sweet but uh, anyway, we'll be keeping them in the littler leghorns, like this one, and this one down there, and here, while we move all the big ones out there, and then we'll be getting a couple more little babies. That's a perfect poop. Good job. But anyway, we'll be getting a couple more little babies from a, a friend-ish, an acquaintance, whatever. We'll be getting a couple more little babies from an acquaintance, and then... That should fill out our flock. Oh, my goodness, Queenie. Yeah, that's Queenie, our crazy girl. If, I don't know if you can see very well. They look kind of rough because they're getting all their, like, for real feathers. Like, her little tail is so fuzzy because she's got, like, half down and half, like, real feathers. It's a little nippy this morning. I put their lamp a little higher because it's been really hot lately, but I think I need to lower it. But you can see their little crests. Especially on the red, or the Rhode Island reds, and then the, my leghorns, you can see their little head crests, wattles, whatever, coming up, which is super neat. The other one's not so much yet. It's just fun to watch, kind of how everybody's different. But yeah, the chickens are, let's see, three weeks old now. If they were born, because I got them on March 1st, and they're usually born on the Monday before you get them, like on Fridays or whatever. Usually born on Mondays or Sundays and brought to Tractor Supply or whatever on Tuesdays here. So they're about three weeks old. This is what three-week-old chickens look like. She's, remember, this is a baby. And we got her, she's maybe a week and a half old or two weeks almost. And then that one, these two are the big girls. My biggest is an Easter Egger. And then the, oh my goodness. And then the Bard Rocks are pretty big, but it's Easter Egger, Rhode Island Reds, my Golden Sussex right here. And then the Bard Rocks and then the Leghorns. And man, these Leghorns don't take anybody's business. And it's really funny because this is my Silver Lace. And then I have two little Gold Laces over there, those two little bitty ones. They take shit from nobody. Man, like these big girls will peck them and they'll just go right back at them. It's so funny to watch. They're chasing their down feathers right now. I guess they keep losing them. It's super cute. All right, but I'm gonna change out their water, which is super icky, because this is the first check in the morning. I'm gonna fill up their feed. 
and I've started feeding them by hand and I'll have like I'll put feed in my hand and then just set my hand in there and then they'll like I'll have 10 chickens around me which is super fun it's actually kind of nice too I'm gonna have to change out some of their they've been scratching so they start scratching and kicking up all of their junk which is why their water is so disgusting oh my goodness look at you get down but yeah so I guess I'll do that like I said, they just look so rough because they're getting there for real feathers. Like, they're all patchy and kind of, I don't want to say ugly, but they are. Oh, my goodness, you got out. This is exactly why I have your lid on. Come here. Yep. Well, that was funny. All right, so they're panicked. There they go. But, yeah, so they're, this is them. They're crazy. They're, they're becoming preteens, and they're, uh, yes, preteen chickens are fun.